Hello Pisces and welcome to Serona Tarot. I'm just cleansing your space at the moment. This is your September forecast for uh, uh, 2020 for the Sun, Moon and Rising of Pisces. It is a general reading so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Genders are interchangeable if any cord cards come up so work with the energy rather than the sex or the gender of any of the court cards. If this does resonate with you, it means that we're in tune, so please like, subscribe, and share, and comment. That would be great. Um, I do shuffle on uh, camera, so if it gets a bit boring, just fast forward, it's fine, because I wait for jumpers out the pack. A couple of things before we begin. Uh, we have a full moon on the 2nd of September in your sign, in Pisces. Okay, so this is all about being, uh, this is going to, things reaching a bit of a climax. So there's going to be, you're going to be feeling a lot more sensitive um, to your surroundings. Your perceptions of your, your surroundings are really going to be uh, crystal clear. And it could be that it leads to an element of insecurity, you know, so really emotional kind of, ah, what is going on around me? Okay, on the flip side, it can also spark some amazing imagination and creativity coming forward and moving forward for you. Um, on the 17th of September, we have the new moon in Virgo. So again, new moons are all about manifestations. We're not obsessing on tensions for new beginnings, okay? And that is all about cleaning up shop, getting organized, putting things where they belong, decluttering from things that are no longer serving you. Okay, so that's how the month is looking for you, astrologically speaking. So we'll do 20 seconds of just uh, the sound ball, just to tune in with my energy. Okay, if you don't want to do that, just fast forward. Okay, Pisces, let us see what September has in store for you. We'll begin with uh, the Sacred Destiny. We'll get an overview of energy for the month. Let's see what's coming up for you. Remember, this is a general reading, so I have to be general in my um, in my delivery, in my messages. Um, I cannot be more specific. If you're interested in a personal reading, just go to the comments below and or the description box below gives you more information there. Okay, can we please get a card for the general overview energy for Pisces? Thank you. Potential. Hmm. Okay, okay. So, if you have a look at this card, there's a mountain in the background and surrounded in the backdrop of the mountain is the celestial Milky Way, everything that is clear and where stars are shining brightly, okay? The potential is really you knowing that you can reach that level, that state, but there's still a bit of a journey, but the potential is there. So this card invites you to really start to see the potential in things and start to really imagine. Start to really play with creativity, play with manifesting new ideas. Basically, um, it's about also opening up where perhaps you've been a little bit too focused in one area of your life. Um, take the blinkers off, start to really see the potential in many different opportunities and things. Start to really open your eyes to that. Um, it's an invitation to do that. Let us see, what does Moonology say for you? Can we get one or two comments for Pisces, September 2020? For the highest good, please. Oh, okay, that's two. <laughs> it landed right where it needs to go. Right. <laughs> you see, believe in the impossible. See the potential. In, in ideas and then we have take time to breathe out. Okay, okay. And of course it's the blue moon which is very rare. Okay, so it feels like there might also be a bit of a rare opportunity that's being presented to you or at least it's a spark of an idea of like, mm, 
I never quite thought about that. And there, but it is loaded. It is pregnant with potential. Okay. It could be also that um, if you do decide to embark on this new ideal spark or project uh, or new beginning, let's just say, we'll see what the other tarot say. Um, it might be that you drive forward a bit too headstrong with it, meaning that you might um, need to play with it more spiritually, play with it more emotionally, take time to breathe out. So really kind of feel the um, all the corners of that possibility um, and really indulge in that because it is pregnant with with, with, with opportunity and possibilities that are here. So the take time to breathe out instead of thrusting forward, really just like smooth over it in all different ways, really enjoy it. Um, okay, work your light. Let's see what the Oracle has for you with regards to September 2020. Thank you. Warrior woman. Hmm. Have you answered your deepest calling? Right. So this is basically, this would be considered an action card. Okay, so warrior woman is that which is protecting herself. So male or female, that doesn't matter. But what it's talking about is um, knowing that you can thrive forward and and um, rush forward with great um, enthusiasm and self-belief and believing in your mission, believing in your morals, believing in what is right for you, what is right for your family, what is right for humanity. This could speak volumes. It depends, obviously, it's a general reading, so it would depend on that new idea that you're having. But the, with the warrior wom woman, it also talks about standing up for yourself, thrusting forward with that sword. So if any naysayers come towards you, or if anyone's trying to step in your way, you have got the force of the warrior. You are no longer going to um, bend and um, comply with uh, those that are preventing you from reaching your highest good and your deepest calling. So your deepest calling is that which has absolute potential, okay? And believing in the, the impossible. It's really inviting you here to really have faith in yourself, really have faith in your abilities and achievements and your ideas essentially your ideas because i feel it's going to be quite air related here especially with all the, the the blues coming up and with that sword energy there so a slight different setup to before we're going to um use um just the major arcanas from the good tarot deck from colin barrett reed um just to anchor um the areas in your life that are most going to be affected for the month of september so we'll get three major arcana for you for pisces for their highest good what do pisces need to know please Thank you. the magician you see you see manifesting your potential this talks about alchemy this talks about harnessing both the physical world the emotional uh, body the physical body the um the passion in your belly that solar plexus energy as well as being connected to the divine um connected to your sense of spirit uh, to your intellect it's about harnessing all of those energies into one application into one approach driving forward okay so the magician is that energy it's a major arcana so this is like a predestined current of energy that's surging into your life and so now is the time to really make full opportunity take full advantage of it spirit is coming in and saying listen there's potential in this you've got to believe in yourself you've got to follow your deepest calling okay now is the time now is the time manifest it it's happening for you what else do we have for oh, pisces 
And this could be a completely different thing as well than you used to because we've got the strength card here as well, which talks about um, having that courage um, and that perseverance to move forward and to charge ahead. So it's going to be outside of your comfort zone, I think. Um, it's going to it's going to put you in that uncomfortable state of like hmm you know uh, and I think the uncomfortable state is literally that um, self doubt that's been coming in okay so maybe you've sparked some this idea and you know that you need to follow this through but um, every so often that chatter in 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 the mind is kind of going yeah but you know can you uh, are you going to be supported um, will this happen and you might find yourself the strength comes in to give you that determination to try and stop listening to that negative talk, you know, that might put you down or prevent you from moving forward. So this is a new thing that you want to start. And it's, it's, I feel like it's new as well, obviously, because of the manifestation, the potential is obviously with a new beginning, but with the strength card of here coming in, it, it's, 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 it's a whole new ball game for you. Okay. And that's why being outside of your comfort zone and ha having to tame your inner beast and the inner beast being, um, that negative self-talk, okay, is going to really help you. This is assisting this energy, the strength energy is really assisting you to really answer that deepest calling for yourself. Now, don't worry, things can change. Things can change in that you can thrust forward this idea, this project, this mm, and two years down the line, two weeks down the line, you could change your mind, that's totally fine. But um, life is to be experienced and expanded and tested and sampled in many, many different ways. But I feel like this is a big move for you. Um, this is you wanting to put a, many eggs in one basket. Uh, and it is supporting you in that. So it feels like it is. it has quite a lot of um, gravity underneath it. It's sort of you've, you've melded over in so many different ways. It's got lots of gravity. Let me just focus on shuffling rather than chatting. Just one more card, please, for Pisces. That's three. Let's just have one card, please, for Pisces. Pisces, for the highest good, please. God wants two. <laughs> so we'll take the two. Okay, so we have the world card. Oh my God! We've got the world card here and we've got the fool. I mean, it doesn't get new, more new beginning like this. The world card talks about reaching the end of a cycle. Okay, so you have had... Um major lessons learned within your um, within your life you've completed a chapter in your life okay you can you can allow yourself a moment to just reflect over that sit with that close it off tie off loose ends and then we've had the fall okay so in the tarot it works this way we end on the world card we start again on the fall so you are embarking on a whole new life now a whole new chapter the fool talks about enthusiasm that new beginning that leap of faith stepping into the unknown trying something completely new out which is what i was picking up with the strength card as well you have been at this uh You'll have the strength and the determination to thrust yourself forward. That's here. It's coming for you as long as you answer your deepest calling. But the deepest calling really is that whole new beginning. And this is a game changer for you. This is an absolute game changer. Um, this is starting something that's really positively aspected. The world card is giving you the thumbs up and the congratulations for completing a major lesson cycle in your life. Okay. Now that can be... It's a general reading, so I have to be general. That can be ending a relationship, ending a job, ending a a, um, a, a, a belief system. Massive. That would be massive. Ending a belief system. You now have come into a bit of illumination and now you believe something different. It has expanded. It has grown in that. Okay. It could be leaving where you live and moving somewhere else. It could be immigrating because it's a world card. So this would also talk about world travel. Okay. Moving beyond and starting afresh and learning new things uh, with a spirit and enthusiasm. Oh, this is exciting, Pisces. Really exciting. Okay, let us clarify with the Fountain uh, Tarot deck. Okay. 
can we please get more information on the magician? Why is the magician here for Pisces for September 2020? Thank you. Oh, that fell on the floor. Bear with me a moment. Oh, lovely. We have the Three of Cups. Okay, so this talks about celebration, reunion, an event where things are really highly spirited. But basically, this is like... So yeah, it's like a celebration. It's like, wow, yeah. Um, and it could be meeting up with old friends as well, or, or, or uh, like a reunion of sorts. What else do we have? The magician, please. Anything more, please, for the magician? Thank you. Oh, okay. King of coins, lovely. And then we have nine of wands, right, okay. So this magician, what you are wanting to manifest is inspired. It comes with inspiration from some friends or a reunion that you have or some sort of gathering where you're talking to other people. And because um, uh, three is also about um, creativity, okay? But cups are the emotional body and this is about celebration and really kind of joyful rejuvenation, reunion, that sort of vibe. Okay, now it could be that um, at where, whenever you have experiences, that's when you have this inspiration and this magician energy starts to be activated within you. It's like someone's inspiring you and it comes in two ways. One, it could be that the King of Swords could be a person in your life that is giving you that inspiration. Now the King of, um, sorry, the King of Coins, the King of Coins or the King of Pentacles traditionally would be that energy who is a business owner, who is, um, could, it's usually a bit of a, uh, an earth sign, but uh, let's not, I don't like to think about the signs as such when it comes to tarot, it's more like the energy. The King of Swords has, his, has basically a shit together. He is forward thinking, he uh, thinks strategy, uh, security, longevity, money, he's got everything settled in the physical world okay so this could also be an older figure for you this could be an older person in your life that perhaps um you've reunited with and been inspired with this new venture to actually really answer your deepest calling or perhaps i don't know why i'm picking this up it could be like um, an older advisor who's basically imparted some words of wisdom and it's just like it's flicked a switch inside of yourself and you're like ah i get it now I get it now. Life is for the living. I need to really stop betraying myself and really thrust forward. So it could be represented, because it's a general reading, it could be represented as a person. But if not, or at least if it's not that, it is definitely this. So it could be that person as well as this energy, which is you are stepping into this energy. You are starting to look at the longevity, the long-term security that you can create for yourself on a physical property, finance, making yourself secure, that sort of stability and for knowledge, okay? Uh, he thinks ahead um, and can be a little bit stubborn sometimes, but um, in stubbornness, there's two sides to it. You can be stubborn or you can be determined. And I see you picking up on the determined aspect over here by thrusting forward, okay? So you, that's what you want, that's what you're manifesting. You've been inspired to do this and you are manifesting your future um, longevity or your long-term goals. That's what's happening and it's really positively aspected. Then we've got the nine of wands. So with the magician, this talks about final burdens that you need to clear up, okay? So this is whereby you can't just thrust forward willy-nilly. You've got to close things up. You've reached the end of a particular cycle, which of course, with the world, of course, you would be. But there's a final burden to work on it could feel like oh my god i just don't know how i'm gonna make it happen but it's the nine of wands you've reached the end of that project you've each reached the end of that job or that way of living or even that um way of thinking okay because we've got water earth and wands here so it really covers we don't have air um but it's it's the um you're closing something off. It would require you to finish something up, okay? Finish, and this, especially with we've got the um, clean up 
and organize in the 17th of September for that uh, new moon in Virgo, this could come in quite strong. And I feel like this is also stimulated by that 2nd September uh, full moon in Pisces about your perception of your surroundings. So you are really maybe even going on a, on a physical journey, okay? Maybe even relocating. But whatever it is, it is in... Um, the magician is on your side, you've got the strength, you can see the potential and believe in the impossible. It's here for you. It's basically saying, yes, now's your time. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, you just have to finish up a little bit of business first to so just clear up some old energies. Um, you can't, it's, it's, it's best not to start something when something is still, um, you know, underway. So let us see where strength is coming in for you, Pisces. Why is strength here, please, for Pisces? So we've got some communication coming in. Let's see what else we have. Anything else? Thank you. Okay. First one was this one. Eight of coins. Nine of coins. It's beautiful. Okay. So strength talks about having that determination and that perseverance to move forward into this deep calling that you are following, this brand new beginning because you've ended this cycle. Okay. With the page of swords coming in, the eight of coins and the nine of coins and coins of pentacles, you get some communication that's coming in that's requiring you to do a bit more research, a bit more homework. Okay, but you're quite excited about doing, you're mastering it. You are, you see how he is creating this cube with all these, um, with the pentacles. He's joining up. He's almost like building a house, but I often see this as uh, like molecules, um, you know, atoms, molecules, that sort of thing. So it's working on the physical realm, but also in the deepest, most uh, quantum aspect of it. Okay. So, um, and then we've got the nine of cups because which is that wish fulfillment, so nine of coins, which is that um, abundance, that self-sufficiency, you have the resources you need. This usually is a falcon in normal tarot, but I, that doesn't look like a falcon to me. <laughs> but the bird would represent having flight and having foresight for the future, okay? And all this, um, the, pen, the pentacles, the coins are represented in this, this growth that's surrounding the lady over there so um the strength is going to come in with literally to kind of um be able to communicate with other people that this is what you're embarking on this is also news coming in requiring you to do a bit more homework this could also be an element of uh paperwork that you need to form that you need to fill out um especially if it's a relocation um lots of um bit of a boring stuff but you're quite happy to do the nitty gritty of it because it is it is flourishing your future, flourishing your future, sorry, that just came out, flourishing your future, okay? So that's where you might not be Pisces and like, oh God, I don't want to do the paperwork, don't want to, but sit with it, do what it takes. The magician has everything, has got every tool to make it happen, okay? You can make it happen. You are making it happen. Right, the world card. Why is the world card here, please? Pisces. Why is the world card here, please? Woo. Thank you. Queen of Cups. Beautiful energy. What else do we have? Queen of Cups. 
Right, so the Ace of Wands obviously talks about a brand new beginning, and this is now what I was talking about, project that's that solar plexus energy with the yellow over there. It's that fire in your belly, that motivation to move forward. Got the Queen of Cups, Ace of Wands, and Seven of Coins. Seven of Coins talks about um, sowing seeds, harvesting your um your what you have sown in the past but i feel like this is more you're starting to sow your seeds so with the world card being over here you this ending that you have are coming to completion of it is um putting you in this gentle nurturing aspect it's like this new beginning that you have has got something to do with serving humanity, serving the community in some respect, stepping into that Queen of Cups energy who is a good listener, even a good counsellor, someone who's really kind of a mother figure. Now this could also be that you are stepping into that mother um, persona as well. I feel like that's, I feel like this is your energy. This isn't like the king of coins um you're stepping into this new energy because you're sparked by this new idea to move forward and you're sowing your seeds now i feel like because it's under the world card over here this is you harvesting the rewards of what you've previously worked on and i feel like work means work and career it could be a project and separate to work but it's something that you have worked on and you have harvested it Okay, but it also brings in this brand new beginning. So it's about harvesting and then not forgetting now you've got to sow and work on this new beginning. So you really are kind of, you really are the magician. You really are kind of uh, working all aspects of it, making sure you clean, tight, loose ends finished, uh, close them down, make sure that you prepare the soil for this new thing that you want to grow in your life. Um, it could also be that you are um, going to be starting a business, growing vegetables, and that's going to be something that you really feel does is 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 in alignment with your your true nature in terms of well, I want to be in an environment that is supportive of nature, especially when so many other things in the material world are um, can be kind of corrupt. Or um, oppressive let's just go back to basics um, very nice energy I feel that this is your energy that you're stepping into if that doesn't resonate with you there is someone who is around you who is massively supportive of this new beginning that you're doing and closing off this cycle good friend or mother Right, why is a fool? What's the fool? Show me the fool. Thank you. Six of Wands. This is recognition. This is victory. This is being recognized for your efforts. So whatever you finished up with the with the world card and harvested, okay, it is giving birth to this new. Um, it is helping. It's it's, it's helping your reputation almost to um, move forward. You are being um, recognized in some way, and that can be massive. On like a public scale if uh, your work involves that okay uh, recognition from others um, but it could also just be a pat in the back from someone that you've worked with um, but this is definitely feeling very um, solar plexus um, uh, one's energy which is all about that uh, rejuvenation a new idea which is going to affect you in the physical world it's going to affect your emotion it's going to affect you all the bits ultimately it's this new Mm, idea, new project, new work. What else do we have, please, for the full? Thank you. Two of Swords. Hmm. Okay. So you might feel like, oh, this this could be an area where you want to begin this new beginning, but you're still a little bit. You've got one step on finishing the old and one step on the new. Okay. Was one one in the sea, one in the shore, that sort of thing. Um, sorry, one in the sea, one in the, the on the sand. Um, so you're in that in between phase. It um, so it might be quite difficult to know where to um step 
um, because you're still in this transition, this potential space where everything is infinite, everything is applicable. It's like that blank canvas and you're like, ah. Oh. So again, it could, could give you an element of self-doubt um, with regards to that. Um, I feel like there's another message for some of you out there whereby you want to embark on this new beginning, but then all of a sudden you are recognized for previous work that you've done and now you're second guessing yourself as to whether um, you should move forward with this because we've got this two of swords, which sometimes is that indecision that needing to make a decision and maybe being a bit at a cross uh, crossroads. Um, I would say that if that resonates with you as um, a situation whereby you want to finish something off, you see the potential in this new project, this new idea, this massive shift, this massive new change, which is going to be answering your deepest calling, and you make that effort to change it, if something comes in, recognition from past efforts you've done with other work or other projects, that might be a bit of a test to see because you might then feel like pulled, oh, maybe I shouldn't do this new beginning. Maybe I should just sort of hold back and stay there. That would be a test for you, okay? That is where your warrior woman really comes into, in, in, into power. Um, take the time to breathe out. Just breathe with it, okay? Still keep believing in the impossible. I would highly recommend that you go continue with this new idea, okay? Regardless of what recognition you receive. Look, he's being um, elevated with his friends, cheered on, going celebrated, going woo! But then we've got this two of swords here. So it makes me think that this recognition, you don't get re recognized for something you, you haven't done yet, right? So it would be something from the past. And that could put you in the space of like, oh, well, maybe I should stay where I am because this is kind of cushy. But it's not that. It's just that final test where the strength is needed, okay? That final test, yes, that should, in any, if anything, that should be uplifting you and pushing you forward and giving that confidence to go ahead with this new project, okay? Not stepping back again. Push forward, push forward, push forward. So, Pisces, that's all I have for you, all the messages. I do hope that it resonated. If it did, please like, subscribe, comment, share. I do read, I do read the comments. Um, and uh, I wish you a wonderful September. Keep going, believe in yourself because spirit and astrology and everything is in your favor. It's all working with you and you're the magician. You can work with all of those, those elements. So um, I'm really happy for you and I uh, wish you all the best and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.